Welcome everyone to another hashtag peak bugs. I don't search for bugs. Bugs somehow find me recurrently here right in my life on this channel. The craziest thing happened to me again today. Like basically I just use the open source ecosystem and daily peak bugs, right? Not only Apple, Apple and Windows, yes, more peak bugs, but the craziest stuff, right? Um, we had some systems that developed like I will make a dedicated video, but basically apparently silicon degradation can be real. I didn't believe into that quite until basically today. And so one server really developed a bad memory cell for whatever reasons. And memtest spits out here some bad RAM address if you ask it to. So basically this is 2db f7f 590. Memory address is now bad. It was good some month ago, now it's bad. Yay! But anyways, long story short, I did what every naive person would do and copied that straight to what it's intended for, right? So this output was intended for Grub. Um, and I didn't Google, but it's probably nearly the only, it's the only pro program that can... Uh, what even do I have here? I just would remember what I've done, you know. Ah. Um, I don't know if some Linux kernel, my Linux kernel, did not gro uh, grok that, so I believe that output is intended for grub. And so, theoretically, so grub has some bad RAM module support for that. And so, like, like what every normal person would, I mean, except like throwing the memory away, right? But I'm not that rich, right? Shall I subscribe? That, like even if I would be richer, I would still, I mean, yeah, we make a science experiment, right? Like, like if it would be data center machine, of, of course, run with ECC. If it's semi important system, throw it away, whatever, right? Get new one. But I neither I don't, I don't want to spend the money, nor whatnot. And also for the science, I will continue to run this. Um, I want to continue this experiment because so far of all my 32 systems, like none really ever developed silicon degradation. And yes, this is YouTube myth of silicon degradation, whatnot, and AMD and whatnot. Um, I don't think it's an AMD, so it's running on a 5950X, but that should not be the point. AM4, of course, not my primary system. Um, but I will continue, like for science, I will continue to run this, right? Instead of like the boring thing would be like, it's always just buying some stuff, always boring, right? So I will continue. It's um, I will continue to run this and to continue to run this, not my system randomly kernel panicking and GCC internal compiler ring. Like, how did I notice ha, on this machine, on this node, some GCC instances randomly segmentation faulted or internal compiler or whatnot? So, yeah, as a science experiment, I will continue to run this. I even overclocked it more. I lowered the voltage. So, the voltage was, I believe, 1.39 volt, which was on the higher end. I'm running it slightly lower now because like here, it's probably as a pro tip, if you overclock and stuff, probably test that you run your memory with the lowest voltage possible, like 1.39, probably like uh, whatever. So yeah, I overclocked it even more. So all the others, the crazy thing is all the other memory of, this is 64 gigabyte kit, so it's 232, like three years ago, it was the largest DDR4 memory you can buy, Corsair, whatever, by the way. Anyway, so to run this further, we need to tell our operating system kernel whether it's preferred T2 Linux or some BSD or whatnot um, to not use this memory, right? So one thing is um, this grub bed run module and what that will do is alter the memory map and mark this memory error as unusable. Um, and I've, so the, the problem with this is like, long story short, it should just work, right? But 2024, the state of open source, the glorified oper operating system that is Grub2 crashes, right? Hold and catch fire. Are you freaking kidding me? Command line parsing apparently really, really, really difficult for C programmers, especially when they write an operating system that is Grub2. Of course, I this was this morning, right? It's basically after work, a quick summary. Um, I already, so this was known, right? So yeah, is this, I'm, I'm not the first to find this, but nobody in years, so this is broken in, I think I found some bug reports as old as 10 years. This might be broken for 10 years and other people knew and nobody fixed it. 
I'm, I'm reoccurringly shocked, right? Like the, the least the least and last person on freaking earth who needs to fix all the bugs, right? So other people, it's like, are we the first? No, I mean, just my memory is usually good. Um, and I, I run my systems usually stress app tested, like usually I stress like mem first mem test, stress app test, and only production when there are zero memory faults, right? It's totally to my surprise. Like I was like, dude, that was working in November, right? Like, and, and now it's not anymore. But anyway, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't need it, but the crazy stuff is like always when I use something the first time, it doesn't work. Like, is it bad luck, bad fortune? Is it just bugs really, really, really love me? Leave me in the comments below. So yeah, other people knew that uh, nine months ago, um, one year and four months ago, I believe, like on when I had this earlier on my on my main system there, I, I believe there were reports as old as Intel Core to do ten years ago. So maybe it's a decade old bug. And so how to fix it? Some people some people gave up. Some people's like yeah, if I like yeah, here is fixed. Um, change this to whatnot, except it with Ubuntu, whatever. Um, bad memory update. Yeah, whatever. So long story short is um, whatever. I believe some used like 32 bits. So the problem is some uh, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever, whatever they did. Um, people do random nonsense. Um, so someone, I believe in the 10 year old bug mentioned um, if you um, use so th those people I believe they had like four gigs of memory in their core to do and they had like because these are obviously 64-bit addresses for our 64-bit freaking um, address space and so other people had you like one two three four five six seven eight I believe or so so this from what I remember right from the morning however um, I found out like without like I mean obviously I started to read the code um, which is obviously here so yeah, I guru meditated the bloody code already. Like like what you do, like because nobody else does it. So share like and subscribe Patreon and all the good stuff for all the GNU and Linux kernel. Like GNU Linux, they want to call it GNU Linux. Like <laughs> they want that I call it GNU Linux, right? So here you have it. Fix all the free software GNU foundations, GNU freaking Linux bugs. So I found already in my testing it is enough if you just, um, or not, it should be enough. Maybe you need a zero. That's funny. I thought one worked. Um, okay, good. Uh, why does this not? Uh, that's funny. I, I could swear that did work earlier. Uh, what? One, two? I thought one was enough. Why do I need two now? Anyway, so I, the code, I mean, the code is a little bit nah. Um, that's the code in, of course, grub core a map a map C. Um, it starts here, right? Grub command bedram here, parsing that. And it's like, yeah, C code, like uh, 2024, you probably don't want to write C code anymore. So, on the first glance, I guru made it. I didn't in see something obviously wrong with that. I mean, obviously, if, if there would be something more obviously wrong with that, someone. I probably would fix it already. Um, it's a little bit too long for this YouTube live stream. Leave in the comments below. So basically, nah, I probably debug that later tonight or live on Twitch. Leave in the comments below. Like maybe comment now. The problem is, it might take even even for me, it might take 30 minutes. Like yes, nobody fixed it in years, and for me, it might take 30 minutes or maybe an hour. And if I'm unlucky, it might take even one or two hours, because I'm testing that is a little bit annoying, right? You need to. Um, Custom boots is also you can attach a debugger. I did this. I did this ten years ago. But the problem is, if I like, it's easier to debug. Like I'm shocked that the Grub Core developers have not debugged it in two or ten years, because it's always easier for the project maintainers because they daily do that. The problem is, I only debug Grub once a year, as you have seen here live on this channel, and usually I don't debug it with a debugger, right? Because it would, as much as Linus Torvalds hates kernel debuggers. I agree with most of the rest of the developers. It of course helps, like even for me, I've not written the shitty code. So obviously for me, it's a nice visual guidance to single step through the stuff and see where it bloody hangs because some very, probably infinite loops so in this stuff. Um, 
and it might take an hour or two because it might be like either what do we do now either we add like Linus Torvalds usually does add some print case here of like we are here this number is that or like how Linus Torvalds 20 years suggested guru meditates it meaning reading and thinking about this code until you your brain finally finds this bug right like if you if guru meditation doesn't help then print case stuff um, and this print case stuff is usually some iterations right it might and we need to regenerate some boot files or whatnot so either we spend half an hour also re reading other people's block guidance of how to attach a debugger right attaching a debugger is similar to attaching one to a kernel um, either with some gdb python scripting foo and stuff and it's like yeah it's not super easy to attach a debugger there are certainly tutorials and stuff it can be done but that's also like then you spend like easily 30 minutes just of getting your debugger like because we, we debug bare metal right it can be done with qemu and gdb but yeah setup costs it's like likely 30 minutes like if you know what you're doing and anyway um yeah so you can set debug all and then you see that so it's doing some stuff here right so that is grub if you didn't know that um, grub built in debugging stuff if you ever wondered like how do you enable this stuff then you see here some disk access and module loading and stuff so he is executing bad ram for that so that number here looks okay-ish right what we put in there to be and stuff um, it's doing some stuff here that's the memory map so it's basically the EFI BIOS supplied memory map of all the various there is not one memory area because there's there might be in old systems 32-bit low memory like low memory PCI spaces um, members memory base address register PCI devices mapped in um, usually in the third gigabyte there's also other BIOS stuff or sync good old-fashioned VGA fixed address spaces and stuff so that that is what all those maps here are about right so there might be also BIOS runtime areas and whatnot and so on and so on right so that is why we have here some areas so it's doing something um, I believe it actually looks the same so maybe the bug is also in the scrub and map register function because from a quick glance I believe it's like yeah maybe the bug is in there right so so much to go meditating bug might not be here but in grub in even more core grub and map register which is uh, somewhere like maybe here or we would actually need to check now um, which of uh, is it that didn't even anyway so the debug trace of a working map let's first establish re-establish I thought one oh no this is very clever that is why I saved it here for copy and paste preserving the poor old-fashioned way ah oh, darn it's a serial console that's why it's a bit more glitchy I thought one is enough but now you're telling me two are so it's probably not sign because I th I thought before I made this video it's like yeah that's that's what we get for not pre-editing this video right all the stuff here raw and live um and so much to miss my memory right i could swear it was one now live on youtube we find two so you don't need to delete all this mask so what this is doing by the way this mask why here are two things if you're wondering that is if you have an address range right usually your memory is not bad in just one location this is only for um this memory it's a very rare thing like i mean I mean I never had bad memory but certainly not that bad memory but like if there is a larger area right so like there might be a couple of like maybe the whole cell maybe the whole memory the, the whole integrated circuit so the whole memory chip is faulty right and then so this mask is basically this address and that whole range of mask right that is why this is having here some like basically the significant bits to mask on the address bus uh, no, I talked so much that I forgot what I. So apparently two, right? One, two. So here it should not be signage because if it's if they just messed up the sign somewhere, um, just one. Okay, 
fine. So much, so much to remember that. So yeah, there you have it. Um, if I don't fix it soon, hopefully I will. Then if you see this later, if you have the same issue, um, then this is how you can work around this. It's of course not nice. So why you might be wondering if I discovered a workaround, like why even bother? Like all the all the dozens of people before me, why even waste my time and bother? Because I like my software bug free, right? I would have expected other people would have fixed that already, but yeah, that is why usually the, all the crap stuff ends up on my table because attention to detail and dedication. Um, it bugs me when software has bugs, so yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, is or did I mistype this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, okay, one is enough. It could still be signage. Um, one is enough. I probably just mistyped this. So much to year typing off your own smartphone photo like. If just more systems and not only Itanium would have an AFI serial console thing. Although to be fair, Memtest has serial support. Anyway, actually, hey, this workstation even has a serial port. Wow, amazing. The so future is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, this is sixteen. So apparently I mistyped that. Okay, this is why I need to. So yeah, I didn't misremember that. You only need to delete one. Just I somehow mistyped that now in front of the YouTube live stream. So yeah, that hangs. So this is not invalid input, right? Um, I just yeah preparation. Other YouTubers would edit this away, and you would never see that. So, yeah. so um, the topmost bit is. Let me think. Should be. Oops. Ah, darn freaking Siri console. Can the grub people not? Yeah. Okay, so it is the topmost bit. Um, maybe they got the freaking like, so maybe it's some sign like here. Signed versus unsigned integers. Difficult. Um, yeah, it's basically like, it helps you nothing here live on YouTube if I uh, debug this now. Um, for an hour live on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this, learned something, especially that neither Apple, Windows, nor even GNU freaking Linux is bug free, and somehow I attract them. I'm apparently a super massive black hole for bugs. Um, and I can't let them escape past the event horizon or something. Anyway, share, like, subscribe, give our Patreon or YouTube membership some token of appreciation for all our bug fixing efforts here and documenting this craziness. Um, I will probably, um, yeah, I will see. Theoretically, we could do this live on Twitch, but I'm a little bit tired of work and traveling and stuff, so maybe tomorrow or later tonight. Um, I would also need to check actually for x86 if we, if Registered by mem, what does it even do? Struct mem test crop match or something. Nah, I need I need to see how debug this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go fix some bugs so I don't have to fix all of them. And have a good day night and to see you soon for all the next fun bugs to come. Comment there, the world is not bug free whenever humans are encountered. Um, or are I con concerned? Um, yeah, but have you seen AI trained on human code? I rest my case. <laughs>